YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're checking out a highly requested South Park video, The Death Camp of Tolerance. Listen, if you want to take a support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, including this one, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it but uh y'all ready for this one let's run it baby let's get it let's go mr garrison some time ago you asked to be promoted from teaching kindergarten back to the third grade as you know the position of fourth grade teacher has become available and we'd like to offer you the job we in administration see now that you are an individual with your own preferences and we respect that you're sure this is for real i mean i'm not gonna just get fired again for being gay tomorrow it's for real, <laughs> Mr. Garrison. Up. Oh, great. With all the new laws, we could never fire you for being gay. Now you'd be able to sue us for millions of dollars. Right. Uh... Shit. What, what was that? Well, I was just she saying that the policies that. have really changed. You know, if we fired you for acting gay next time, you'd be able to sue the school district for lots of money. How much money exactly? Damn. Oh, well, 25 million, I think. That's a y lot. You don't say. That's crazy money, bro. Well, thanks, uh, Principal Victoria. Holy moly, I've got to find a way to get fired for being gay. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, bro. I, I understand why he's thinking like that, because he's never going to make $25 million teaching. You know what I'm saying? So he can live good off of getting fired. I want you all to give your best behavior to your new fourth grade teacher, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mackey. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Okay, children, now for those of you who are new, my name is Mr. Garrison. Where's Mr. Hat, sir? Well, I was informed that fourth graders are a little too old for Mr. Hat. Two-year-olds are too old for Mr. Hat. Damn. But it's okay because I found a new teacher's assistant. Say hello to Mr. Slave. Who? Hi, kids. Oh, Please. this guy. I've seen him before. So that's Mr. Slave, the teacher's assistant, or as I like to write for short, the teacher's ass. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, Mr. Slave, go sit until I need you. Isn't this dude like his boyfriend or something? Like, I've seen him before, but I don't know much about the character. Oh. Do you think <laughs> that Mr. Slave guy might Shit. be Pakistani? I'm not saying the rest of the school year Pakistani? is going to be easy. In fact, it's going... <laughs> I thought he was going to say gay, bro. I thought he was going to say gay. Don't do it, Kenny. Eric, did you just throw a paper airplane? No, it was Kenny. Very funny, Eric. Kenny's dead. Yeah, but Cartman drank Kenny's remains, and now Kenny's soul is trapped in Cartman's body. Yeah. Oh. That does it. I will not put up with foolishness in my class. It's That's time what for was. punishment. Take it, Mr. Slave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Dog, what the fuck? I will not oh. put up with tomfoolery oh. in my classroom, oh. children. Mr. Slave, put this rubber ball in your mouth. Oh, Take it, Slave. Take it. God. This will oh. get me fired for oh. sure. Yo, this is straight like soft porn or some shit. So full of metaphor. Hey, guys, can we talk to you? Oh, hi, boys. How was school? Uh, not cool. That's great. We're having our book of the month club meeting, so why don't you boys go outside and play? Was it me, or did you all think that Nancy Drew solved the riddle of Elephant Mountain a little too easy? Bro, oh, yeah. 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 Well, like, this book club thing can wait. This is, like, far more important. This is your child's education. You know what I'm saying? We got our new teacher today. It's it's Mr. Garrison, our old third grade teacher. Uh-huh. Well, he has this new teacher's assistant, and, and they're both totally gay. Kyle! You know better than to discriminate against homosexuals. <laughs> yeah, no, but listen these guys to him. are really super gay. Well, I'm surprised at you, Stanley. I really thought you knew how to accept people for who they were. Oh, yeah, but Dad, no, but Stanley, we're not God. raising our kids to be discriminators. That's right. I think it's time you kids took a little trip to the Museum of Tolerance. Yo, fuck these parents, bro. They didn't even give them a chance to explain what happened. Here we try to educate you on the dynamics of racism and prejudice in America. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you know that words we use can show intolerance? Let's begin our tour with a walk through our tunnel of prejudice. Queer. Boehner. Chink. Boehner. Faggot. Crocker. Oh, shit. Oh, man, this is awesome. <laughs> now you know how it feels. 
I want to ride again. I want to ride again. Here we see a black person eating chicken. Yeah, the watermelon. watermelon. A stereotype that hurts the and African American community. Chicken. What other stereotypes do you see here? Ah, oh, here's the Arab as a terrorist. Ah, here's a good one. It's the stereotypical sleepy Mexican. What? What? Oh man, what time is it? Nah, he's oh, real. I'm sorry, I you were a black no, man, I'm the janitor. I'm supposed to be cleaning, but I'm so tired. Oh, so I'm so tired. <laughs> this is our discovery wing. Take your time at the computer displays because you see, being tolerant, you must also learn to respect people who are small, people who are disabled, even people who are overweight, like this young man here. Oh, right, shit. You other boys have probably called this young man names like Tubby or Lard Butt or Fat Tits. Fat Tits fat is a good one. Tits. Yeah, I have to remember that. But you must learn to be tolerant of his differences as I well. I like that, if Fat Tits. Chooses to be fat, that's his life choice. I'm not fat. I have a different life choice. We have to accept people for who they are and what they like to do. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I was just, uh... There's no smoking in the museum! But I'm not in the museum. Get out of here, you filthy smoker! Yeah, dirty lungs! <laughs> Go ahead and kill yourself, stupid tar breath! Dumbass! Get out of here! Well, have a great day, everybody. Now you boys can go and give your teacher and assistant the respect they deserve, right? Yeah, they just did the complete opposite because homie was smoking a cigarette. That it's his choice. He decided to do that. Literally everything they just told Cartman went out the window. Who can tell me what happens to water when we heat it up in the Bunsen burner? It evaporates. Good, Butters. Now, if we take the glass tube of the Bunsen burner, we can also see how other things react. Evaporation is an exothermic reaction, so let's look at an endothermic one. Mr. Slave, position seven, please. Now, I'm going to put the glass tube under Mr. Slave's tight ass. The oh, heat my Mr. God. Slave's ass will act as our new conductor of energy. Uh, okay, now, Butters, could you bring Shit. over Lemmy Winks for me, please? Sure. And they just got to deal with it, bro? They just got to tolerate it because of the uh, the museum they went to? Oh, no, no, no. This is that, that Eminem record, fact. Shove a gerbil in your ass through a tube. Bruh. I never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> oh, <sick. laughs> oh. Ew, he's done it before. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh. Lemmy Winks? No! Mr. Garrison has this new assistant and we're really uncomfortable around them. It's mostly the way Mr. Garrison stuck a gerbil at Mr. Slave's ass. Finally! Right. And you see, children, that's why you need to... Whoa! What? Okay. Are we homophobes now? <laughs> okay. You don't want to be gay basher, chef. You children just take your lunches. I'm going to have a talk with the principal. I'll take three lunches today, please. You don't need three lunches, Eric. You're fat enough as it is. It is my life's choice, Chef, and if you don't tolerate it, I'll report you to the SEC. Oh, shit. Mr. Garrison, have a seat. Oh, dear. Sounds like I'm getting fired. <laughs> Mr. Garrison, Chef has brought it to my attention that some of the students are a bit uncomfortable about certain aspects of your teaching methods. Oh, no. You're firing me? Oh, well, I can't stop being who I am. I can't help the way God made me. Guess I just have to go. No, 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 we're not firing you. You're not? No, we're sending Chef to a tolerance seminar. What? Sending Chef to a tolerance seminar? You got to be fucking crazy. Why Chef if it was the kids that complained to Chef? I believe you used the words sick queer to describe his conduct in class. Oh, no, shit. A sick queer. I just wanted to give you an opportunity to apologize to Mr. Garrison before I sent you away, Chef. Kiss my black ass. Theo, let it know, Chef. We're not staying in class another minute with those queermos. Well, I really thought you boys learned something in the Museum of Tolerance, but apparently all you learned was new words to call your poor teachers. But they killed Lemmy Winks. Shut your mouth, butters. You'll speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. Mr. Mackey, we've done everything we can to raise compassionate oh, children. We don't parents. know where else to turn. Well, there is an intensive seminar camp. It's a bit severe, but it might be the only way. Bro, why don't why haven't the kids explained exactly what they saw in class? The 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 parents just shut them up and they run with it, bro. God damn it! How'd it go? This is unbelievable, Mr. Slave. It seems no matter what I do, I can't get fired. The parents felt so bad that their kids didn't want to attend my class anymore that they want to give me the Courageous Teacher Award this Friday at the Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> oh, oh, my Jesus God. Christ. What you need to do is let the parents see what kind of demented faggot you are. Oh, uh, well, hey, that's right, Mr. Yo, Slave. Yo, like, that ass? That's literally what I just said. They didn't hear the story of what's been happening that the kids have been witnessing. If the parents hear that, then they might be able to get homie fired and everybody wins. You feel me? Well, not everybody, because he's only doing this. 
because he wants to get paid. He's actually not a bad teacher. The parents have to see for themselves. The award ceremony. Well, we'll put on a show they'll never forget. Today, we will be using the finger paints. You will make a painting that shows people of different races and sexual orientations getting along. Finger paint! Finger paint! You will not make any distinction between people of different color, people with different sexual preferences. You will accept everyone. What are you finger painting? Uh, a bear? I bear? Un bear has nothing to do with accepting people of different races. I, I didn't know what else to paint. Start over. You will finger paint what we tell you. Go! Faster. Faster. Faster! Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Are you done? What is it? What have you done? People of all colors are green, holding hands beneath a rainbow! Good! That wasn't so hard, was it? Now do it again! <laughs> oh shit! Faster! Faster! Everything in order? Yes, mein Fjord. We are making the prisoners make macaroni pictures that illustrate diversity in the workplace. Go! Kyle! Kyle, you have to keep making your macaroni pictures. Can't. Glue any more. Take this one away. He is done for. Butters? Oh, shit. Uh, Butters. Arts and crafts. Oh, Jesus. We have to get out of here. Please don't tell them that we're hiding here. We can't work anymore. We'll die. What? What? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just getting back to work. What is in there? Nothing. Get back to work. Yes, sir. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, a dick. There's actually two girls hiding down there. Hey. Yo, he's a rat. It is my honor to present the Courageous Teacher Award to Herbert Garrison. Down, they're 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 down. Get along, little slave. Oh my God, that's oh, what our boys shit. were talking about. Say, Mr. Dude, that's slave. Crazy. Yes, Mr. Garrison. I had a dream last night that you were a real dick. Really? Why would you dream that I was being an asshole? No, no, I was the asshole. <laughs> that's so courageous. What an amazing human being. Uh, oh, I, I, I'm shit. very happy to get this award, but you know what makes me even happier? Sucking balls. Mm. It isn't working. Sing your song, bro. Mr. Slive. I've got a little. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. What's happening in there? I should have never shoved all those poor animals up my ass. What the fuck? Courageous. So courageous. God damn it, don't you people get it? I'm trying to get fired here. Oh, that's courageous. Look, this kind of behavior should not be acceptable from a teacher. Facts. Yeah, Jesus Christ. But the museum tells us to be tolerant. Tolerant, but not stupid. Look, just because you have to tolerate something doesn't mean you have to approve yeah, of it. I just realized if you had you a strap to like on. It, it'd be called the museum on. of acceptance. Tolerate means you're just putting up with it. You tolerate a crying child sitting next to you on the airplane, or, or you tolerate a bad cold. It can still piss you off. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. He's right. <laughs> our boys didn't hate homosexuals. They just hated the way this asshole was acting. Right. We gotta get our boys back. We're oh. sorry, boys. Why didn't you tell us your teachers were acting so Bro, they're all the skinny. Yes, you boys don't know how much we've suffered. Oh my God. Come on, let's they go. They lost all the way. But this is insane. I'm sorry, Mr. Garrison, but it's obvious you aren't tolerant of your own behavior. What do we have here, new recruits? I assure you, the next week will be nothing but pain and suffering. Ooh, this could be kind of fun. Danny <laughs> 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 Winks has made it. I've been Great job, it worked, Winks. Bro. Thanks to you, we are all free. But your adventures are just beginning. For you are no ordinary gerbil, Lemmy Winks. You are the Gerbil King. All oh, hail the, the Gerbil King. King. Now that you're the Gerbil King, there's more adventures to crazy. go on. Fly away to faraway lands and to the setting sun. Yo, this episode so was wild, man. Holy shit. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what South Park episode is next. And I get to that ASA. P, listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time. 
I'm out. Peace.